can it be all women and all men are bad? Can it be? Or is it you are just choosing the wrong person in your life? As in dating. I think many people go after certain things that I think should be considered last. I think some people make Less, how can I say this? I believe some people place so much emphasis on things that should probably be considered last and not place much emphasis, at least in the beginning, I think, on the things that should be considered, that I think should be considered first. And you may say to me, Kevin, what do you mean? Okay. Eye color, how long the hair is, how big the woman's breasts are, how big the woman's butt is, how much money the man has, if the man has a very nice car for male and female, the type of clothes they wear, how popular they are, what will my mom say about this person, what will my dad say about that person, skin color. I think those things are less important. I think that and much more, I believe stuff like that, which I believe is kind of insignificant, I believe stuff like that is considered more than considering the person's personality. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? What if you find that man or woman that is your type? Let's say they are beautiful. Let's say they have the long hair, the nice eyes, whether you like blue, green, or whatever type of eyes, hazel, whatever it is called. Let's say that woman or man, appearance-wise, is your type. And let's say that is what you consider the most is the outward looks. Okay. Let's say you marry that person and you find out that man is a pedophile. That man likes to beat on you and choke you in a bad way. Let's say that person loves to cheat. What if you would have chose to consider Consider that person's personality first. What good is having someone very beautiful if they treat you like trash? Kevin, you are right, but my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my spouse, whatever, treats me so wrong, but 
I am happy though because they are beautiful. What sense does that make? So let's say on a scale one through 10, one as being not so pretty and 10 as being very pretty. I kind of lost my train of thought here. <laughs> What's going on here? I believe my point is look at, consider whoever you are trying to marry. Okay. I think my point is coming back to me. So let's say one as being not so pretty and 10 as being very pretty. I believe there are many women and men out there that would probably be very good to marry. But because they may be on a scale one through 10, one being as less pretty, 10 as being very pretty, maybe many of them are at a level two or three, maybe a five or or six or probably around two through five or one through five i think many of them are being passed up because of how they outwardly look i think so many people are chasing or desiring the sixes, the sevens, and eights, and nines, I don't believe there is a 10, but like the sevens, eights, and nines, which I am not saying there, I am not saying that there isn't a man or woman in that category that would not be good to marry. But I think so many twos, threes, and fours are being passed up because of how they look. Listen now. Would you rather, and I don't believe there are any tens, but would you rather have a ten that treats you like trash or have a three Yes, that three may not look so pretty, but let's say that three is very humble, treats you very well, will be willing to take care of the kids and be humble to you and treat you right and do whatever to make the relationship work. Would you rather be with that than a 10? Now, if you say 10, and even though that 10 may harm you, I think something is wrong with your thinking. I think as time passes by, a person's looks are going to fade. Yes, there may be some women or men out there that may retain a nice look, but I think that is kind of rare. But I think as time passes by, I think for most of us, our looks are going to fade. So, you know, a woman's breast and behind may begin to sag. A man may, you know, let me not get too graphic, but if you base everything on looks, and if your looks are going to fade in time, what are you going to do if your wife or husband don't look as good when you get older? 
Are you going to break up? Listen now. I believe we should base a relationship as in marriage and whatever like that. I believe we should base relationships like that on something stable, on something, I guess I can say that is going to last. If I base my, let's say I want to get married and I base my relationship upon, let's say my future wife, if I base my love upon her, not because of her looks, not because of her behind and her breast and stuff like that. Hey, I am with this person because I love that person. I want to be with this person. We talk. I understand her. She understands me. We basing I guess I can say our relationship upon who we are, not for what we have and stuff like that, but for who we are. I think a relationship like that will last so much longer than a relationship based upon how big the woman's breast and butt is or how much money the man has. Let me say this. If you base a relationship upon how much money the man has, let's say you don't care about the man's personality and you are very concerned about how much money that man has. Okay, let's say you get that man. If that man beats on you, if that man cheats on you, lies on you, or whatever else, whose fault is that? Let's say you continue to base relationships upon fragile things, if you understand what I am trying to say. And let's say when you do that, the relationship fails. Whose fault is it? Can you really say all men are bad, all men are dogs, all men don't want a good woman. Listen now, isn't it you? Let's say there's a man and he based his relationships upon how a woman outwardly looks. Can he say women just want his money? Women are just playing around and Maybe you are choosing a man or woman immaturely. Man, please listen. It is your fault. I think it is your fault. If you continue to choose a man or woman in the same way, and if you continue to fail by doing it, whose fault is it? The woman's fault? The man's fault? No, I believe it is your fault. So don't continue doing the same, I guess I can say, failed pattern. Change it up. Go after, change the way you are, actually, I believe. Stop choosing a woman or a man immaturely, like a, like a child. Think deeply. Try to figure out who that person is. Well, I just like her curves. I like her long hair. I like her green eyes. I want to marry her. Man, come on now. Let's be serious, man. Let me stop here.